What's up you guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm right here with my good friend Jerry. If you guys know him, Beast Fab, make sure to check him out in the description box below. For today's video, what he's holding here is gonna be the Rock Light Kit from KC. It's their V2. This is super bright, you guys will see at the end of the video, which we'll show you guys. But for right now, we're gonna be showing you guys kind of what comes inside the box. And then after that, we're gonna show you guys how to install it. So make sure to stay tuned. If you guys are interested, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this. And like I said, I'm right here with my friend Jerry. Make Make sure to check him out. He's in the description box below. Let's go ahead and now get into the video and show you guys. All right, so the ones we're going to be installing today are going to be the Cyclone V2 Rock Light Kit. This one specifically does come with six inside. I am going to be adding two more to it, so that way I can have a total of eight all the way around, which we'll show you guys where we're going to put those. Right now, we'll go ahead and open this up and kind of show you guys what comes in the box. Just wanted to show you guys the quality on this packaging, though. It's super clean. They package everything very well. So everything I have laid out here was inside, of course. Once again, it does come with six of them. This is the Cyclone. V2 6 uh, rock light kit. So inside you're going to get those lights. I have two extra ones that we're going to be adding, which once again, we'll show you guys where those, those are going to go. It's going to come, of course, with everything you're going to need to install it. Sheathing, bolts, everything like that, even zip ties. You're going to get the fuse kit here. This is super high quality if you see it in person. And then of course, you're going to get the wiring harnesses. One, two, three. One, two, three. Total of six for that bad boy there. That being said, since we are adding two more we're gonna have to add some wiring to this just so we can add a total of eight so what we're gonna be doing on the truck here we're gonna be putting one underneath here to light up everything underneath we'll be putting one under here as well to light up all of this and then if you come to the back here it's gonna look really good so that way it can show off the smooth bodies here at night so we're gonna put one here one on the opposite side and then coming underneath the truck we'll be putting one there one there one on that side and that side. So it's gonna look really good at night when I turn these things on. Now getting to the installation, we wanted to show you guys something. So looking at one of the lights here, you're gonna see uh, there is a red and a black, which means positive, negative. And you're gonna notice on the wiring, it's also gonna have that as well. Uh, it's gonna have this here, this here, which are these connections are gonna go into the light. And then on this side, you're gonna notice it also has, of course, the red and black, but it has these different connectors. These are gonna go in super simple. I mean, you're just gonna plug these right into the corresponding section. Gonna come with a uh, grounding point, which is here. That came inside the bag. We'll show you guys how that goes. And it comes with a switch. For me, of course, I do have a switch panel, so we're not gonna need this. As far as the wiring, we did wanna show you guys something. So when looking at the wiring, you gotta keep in mind, they're all different lengths. So you're gonna notice right here, it says 5M, 5M. These are gonna say 3.5. This one's 3.5, 2.5, 2.5. So that being said, the shorter ones, which, which are gonna be the 2.5s, are gonna be, of course, for the front. The fives are gonna be for the rear. These are gonna be the center. Keep that in mind. And then once again, we're gonna be adding a little bit of wire just so that way we can uh, add in two more lights onto this. So first things first, this goes for all of them, so keep it in mind. Uh, there's gonna be like a little black rubber grommet right here. Uh, what we're gonna be doing, since we're gonna be mounting it into my wheel wells, we're gonna drill it into it. So we're gonna be removing that little rubber piece comes off, just peel it off. This is the grommet I was talking about. All you really do is just pop it right off and then it exposes it just like that and like that. And we'll just put a screw right through it. Super easy. Those were basically just self-tapping screws. Uh, what we try to do here is just keep the wiring inwards. You don't want the wiring to come out this way because then of course, one, it's gonna be exposed and it's just not gonna be good if you have big tires like me. This does compress all the way into the wheel well. So if you have wires this way, of course, it's just gonna rip it right out. So we have it in a position where that should be good there and it'll still light up all the suspension components down here. Once it's in that position, now you can go ahead and put that rubber grommet back in. Just slide it in, put it in with your thumb, and you're good. So for me, I don't have any wheel wells back here. As you guys can see, everything's kind of exposed. So for you guys, if you have a wheel well, uh, you might want to use the brackets provided, or you can just use those same self-tapping screws, go into the wheel well, and go from there. But once again, like me, I don't have it, so we're going to be mounting it into this piece here. We're going to put it right through the middle there, and that's where we're going to go ahead and hang the light. 
So only re reason we're removing that bracket for now, the one that's there, that is from the factory, is so that way we have space to kind of work around the back here. So there it is. So there's the bolt through there. And on this side, we'll just go ahead and tighten this down and then we can put this bracket back where we took it off of and this side is good. We'll do the same to the other. So now that everything's mounted, like I said, it's back to its factory points. This is only if you don't have a wheel well here like me. Now, of course, we just need to start with the wiring, but we're gonna go ahead and do the same process to the other side. And now, of course, we already finished up with the fronts, which I'll show you guys one more time. As you can see, it's mounted there. And then you come around this way. It's also mounted there. Now that we finished up all the wheel wells, we're gonna go underneath the truck. So we're gonna be putting one closer to this rear door and we're gonna put one closer to this front door, kind of centering each one. So coming in underneath here, there is those like drain plugs. We're gonna put them kind of close to there and that way the self-tapping screws can easily drive right through. Coming back here, coming back here, you're gonna see uh, for my rock sliders, it has an in-between slot here. We're gonna be placing it probably right here in the center. That's kind of the center of the rear door. Mm -hmm. So coming back out here. So we're kind of just centering it so that way when it's lit up and then coming over here, we'll probably be doing the same thing. So we'll be placing it probably in between here somewhere in this section. Now that they're all installed, I'll show you guys the ones in the center since I haven't really give you a good look. So there's that one coming this way. There's that one coming this way right there and right there. So all that's left now is of course gonna be the wiring and we'll go from there. Of course we have it mounted there. We showed you guys that earlier. So what we did here is uh, of course on that bolt there, we unscrewed it, we ran the wire through the back of it, put the screw back in and now ran it down. All we did, plug it in. Now we're gonna run it down through here, kind of zip tie it through some existing wires and we're gonna run it through the body all the way to the front of the truck. Just to show you guys off the truck, so this is the wiring, it'll have a little tag on it. So you're gonna notice on one end, it's gonna have like plug connectors, just like this. On the other end, you're gonna have the red and the black, which is positive, negative. This side here is gonna go connect to the actual controller box, which we'll show you guys later. This side here is what went connected into the actual lights. So like I told you guys, it's a plug and play. So these ones are gonna be the female. The ones on the actual KC lights are gonna be the males, which go into these. So there's nothing hard about it. And then the cool thing about KC is they provide these like uh, rubbers on here, which kind of keeps it weather sealed. So nothing goes wrong down the road. So let's continue and do the rest of them with that same process. One thing I did forget to mention is after you've connected everything, kind of figured out where you're gonna be placing it, make sure you zip tie it going downwards. The kit does come with zip ties, but you are probably gonna need a lot more. So make sure you go run to the hardware store and pick some up. Really quick to show you guys, everything's now zip tied through some existing wires I had to there, you can see it right there. It's coming this way, coming here, down this way. Zip tight into that. And then right now we just have it dangling here, but that's basically gonna go inside the engine bay to the controller box. As far as the one on the passenger side over here, let me show you what we did. So there's that. We've run it in back of my archive garage uh, shock relocation kit. It's ran through the back. Let's come back here. We've then brought it here, zip tied it, brought it in this way. And then to bring it across that way, what we did is zip tied it there into that existing cross member, put it into that right through there. And then you can see the gas tank here. We've just crossed it right over, brought it back in this way and kind of the same way we ran the driver's side one, we've just kind of brought them together and zip tied it into the existing side as well. And same thing, we just have it dangling for now. So all we have left over is gonna be the front ones. And then of course, these two centers here, which on the centers, uh, we have our boy over here doing the wiring. Like I was telling you guys for the centers, we do have to make it a little bit more custom. So that's what we're working on right now, just to make it like a nice and clean job. So it's not all tacky underneath. Once we do the cross links here, which is what he's working on, then we could go ahead 
ahead and connect them to the actual lights that are underneath the truck. And then after that, we can then move on to the front ones and basically go to the controller box. All right, you guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the centers here. So noticing that there is what's gonna go connected to the controller box up here. But if you follow it up this way, you're gonna notice we've now added the extra wiring so that way we can tap into both lights. So one connector is gonna go connected there into that light and then coming back here, that connector will go into that one. So everything looks super clean as you guys can see it there. And all we need to do now is just plug those in, zip tie it and kind of run it right over here into where the controller box is going to be. So one thing I did want to show you is the extended line that we are putting on is we're going to run that one since it's extended to the one that's more on the rear. The main harness, which is right here from the actual harness of KC, we're putting it to the closer one that's closer to the engine bay. So we're just kind of routing it right now. And like I said, once everything's connected, then we can go ahead and start zip tying it and route the wire through. Super easy, plugs right in. Just like that. And now, time for the zip ties. So let's go ahead and show you guys what we've done here. So noticing the light is there. We've zip tied the wire in that way. With some existing wires on this side, it's zip tied right through there. And we come back in. You notice the light there. Zip tied up there. If you guys do have the Tacoma, you guys will see that box, of course. So it's zip tied into that. And then we've just kind of crossed the wire through up into here. Let me show you guys right there. So you're gonna see there is an existing uh, pipe right there. The black one there is a pipe that I put just to kind of relocate my AC. I have a video on that if you wanna check it out, description box below. But you will have that other existing wire with the silver mesh over it. So you can zip tie yours to that. That's what we're kind of doing. And then we're gonna run it inside into the engine bay. And that harness will go connected as well to the controller box. Now coming onto this side, uh, as you guys can see, we still haven't finished this one or that one, which this is the driver's side, just to kind of orient you guys. So we're gonna do the same exact process. We'll go ahead and uh, connect them, route the wire inwards this way, and then we can bring down the truck and kind of start working on the front and connecting the front lights as well. Put it inside the engine bay and connect everything up. So what we're doing here, those are the lights that were in the back. Uh, we've run them up through here and it's gonna go into the engine bay right here. And that way we can go ahead and cross it since my switch panel is on that side. Uh, that's where we're gonna have to have all the wires. So looking right here, this light, once we connect it, it's gonna be the same thing. We're gonna run it through all the way that way towards the box. So now that I've showed you guys that, you just saw Jerry right now doing a little hole here. So essentially a reason why we did that is so that way the wire can go upwards. If we didn't do that, the wiring would have to come down here. And then over time, when the tire flexes out and hits it, it's gonna start probably tearing wire or just start dangling. And I didn't want that. So that's why we made a little hole here, brought it up into the engine bay. And then it's gonna meet up with this one, which we've currently zip tied up, which were the ones underneath. And we're gonna have them here so we can run it that way into the controller. So right now we're kind of figuring out, seeing where we're gonna be mounting this, this piece here. That's where all the lights are gonna go into. Probably either going to be mounting it right here. If not, I'm gonna let it hang somewhere back there. Uh, but essentially we need to put the lights in here first. Extended the wire just to kind of show you guys what's going on here. So if you notice right here, just in case you guys don't have like a aux beam switch panel, S-pod, any of that type of switch panel on your truck, uh, I'm gonna show you guys so this wire here there's a red there's a black and there's a yellow going into some sheathing and going into this here so essentially what you would do with this is come right to the truck and in back of here it's gonna be hard to see because of the switch panel but back there you're gonna have a grommet you can go ahead and cut a little slice into it put it into your truck and this is gonna go routed inside the truck uh, 
you can place it probably like around here somewhere or just find the spot for it because what this is here is where the switch would go so Casey provides you with the switch just like this and you're gonna notice there's three pins here that's where you'd connect that so that would be done inside your truck and then you'd be left over with this here which with this thing uh, you can see there's one two three one two three so these six here is where the positive of the actual lights that you just installed are going to go connected into positive meaning the reds and then the black will be going somewhere else so all the lights you just put on all the reds will go into here on each section and then after that is done you're going to notice you're going to have these two left over and then you're going to have this here so what these would do uh, this would actually be your positive and these two black ones left over are going to be for the negative so that's how that would go connected and then all the negatives coming from each of the lights which are going to be the blacks each light that you installed is going to have that black one those are going to go into this here which is going to be your grounding source now for me since i do have like i said the switch panel which is an aux beam one this goes for any type of switch panel doesn't matter the brand you have what we're going to need to do uh, is looking back at the wire there it is what we're going to need to do is actually chop this off from there so this yellow one and this black one is going to go and then this is going to go as well so all we're going to be left over is with this box here and the red and that's all we're going to have left over and then we're going to move back to my switch panel and start the wiring process there so like i showed you guys uh, this is the only thing we are going to be keeping this only is going to happen if you guys do have a switch panel if you guys do not have a switch panel keep those on do not cut anything because that's going to be your power source as far as for me like i was telling you guys earlier all the rock lights are going to be connected into here all six of them so into that section there and this is all going to be positive so on the other side that's going to be connected into my switch panel which i have right there to the positive and all the negatives that are coming from the rock lights which are all those black ones from each of them we're going to be using this here and we're going to be mounting it right about there and what's going to be connected there is all the grounding points like i said there should be six of them with all the six lights and we've extended our ground here so this is an extension wire we've just ran it from my switch beam aux panel into this way which is going to go into that what we just showed you guys now if you guys don't have that you don't need to worry about this part but just to show you guys so there's the wiring everything's now zip tied out of the way so looking in the engine bay you can't really see anything anymore so if you guys do remember like i told you guys if you have a switch panel you want to make sure you run that red wire that came from here from this bar here and that red wire is going to go into your power source of your switch panel so now that that's done out of the way up next you're going to notice coming back to that bus bar here all the lights that all the lights that we did install of course the positives are connected into it as you guys can see into just one wire this big red one here which is what we connected into the switch panel so just so you guys are if you guys are curious as to what that is so that would now leave of course your black negatives of each light which coming right over here they're connected into this so casey does provide you with this here and that's going to be your grounding point so that's where we connected all the negatives so essentially one of these days i will be coming back we're going to be cleaning this up here but the install is now done once again if you don't have that switch panel you want to remember to run the wires inwards so that we could go into your cab using that switch that casey provides 
So uh, if this is confusing to you, because I'm pretty sure even while I'm talking about it, I'm confusing myself a little, I'm not gonna lie. But if this is confusing to you guys, just remember to hit up Jerry. All his information is gonna be in the description box below. Make sure you let him know I sent you over. That way you get a great price. And this process does take a little while. So if you guys are going to get it done, uh, just keep in mind and set some time apart of your day. So let's show you guys how it looks. I'm gonna show you guys at night, but just really quick so you guys see it. Keep in mind it is during the day and it's still pretty bright all the way around. It's lighting up so I could already imagine what it's gonna look like at night. Cool thing about this is it's gonna show up the, as a suspension components, especially when I'm off road. Having these things on is gonna look really good and it'll help me out. Down the road what we might do is probably have it hook up somehow so that way when I open up the doors this also lights up but that'll be probably for a future video. But if you guys do want it, like I said, description box below. Let's go ahead and skip to the night clips. All right, you guys, so right now it's pitch black. The Tacoma's right there. I'm gonna go ahead and trim them on and show you guys. So there it is. So it's crazy, crazy bright. I mean, it's lighting this whole thing up. And then, like I told you guys, the main reason I wanted these is because when I do go off-road, one, it's gonna kind of help me out. And then two, I can see my whole suspension and say something does go wrong on the trail or something like that. I can see underneath, I can see in the suspension, I can see all that and I could try to work on the truck with some light. So like I was telling you guys, this is crazy, crazy bright. Uh, the camera is of course not going to do justice, but standing back, it's awesome. Just check that view out, you guys. And of course, lights up the back. I should have probably put some back here, but that's fine. I mean, overall it looks good. Maybe down the road I'll add some more just for fun. And then maybe we'll add some here in the front. Same thing, just for fun. But that's all you really need, just the ones in the wheel well and then the ones underneath and it lights it up looks really really good so now that we showed you guys the quick installation I know we didn't go crazy in depth we just kind of walked you guys through it but if at the end you guys do want to go ahead and get this done exactly as I did it looks okay. awesome as you guys just saw in the previous clip so if you guys do want it make sure to check him out Jerry's right here I'm gonna go ahead and let him kind of explain what he does here at his shop once again description box below for all his information we do everything from fabrication to any kind of suspension need you know regular lift you know up to like a high performance I mean we can do <laughs> any any lift any any build you want to go with we can make it happen here Jesse's bill has been here you know since the beginning so this is uh, part of the work we do yeah so um, a lot of information is gonna be in the box below uh, thank you guys for watching again and we we'll see you guys the next time okay peace all right Feel free to subscribe